Five. So we always go on about stop the cops and cannabis can help their say, etc. Mm. But I think me personally, I've developed a bit of a thick skin to people being bust and the stories and so on. Mm. Until I think it was Tuesday afternoon, uh, we got a message on our uh, Telegram group, and it was like, guys, uh, it's kicking off. I please need help, and it was one of the Owens. Family. Not one of the Owens, one of the Bras. Family. And he. Um, I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't want to tell the Oak story for him. I don't want to say his name and that. But you want to tell the story of what went down? Or can I just... Yeah, basically, uh, I won't go too much. But it, uh, they tried to search my car unlawfully. Just pulled me over on the side of the road. Uh, got into an argument. I then went to the police station to sort out the matter. Because, you know, obviously there was no talking to the guy. So I thought a senior officer would be better. And they didn't found anything. To they de escalate. No, nothing so far. I, I'm still in my car, driving myself to the police station. Okay. Um, I parked in the public parking, and I walked into the station. Uh, they demanded I park inside, but I was like, no, it's, I haven't done anything <coughs> wrong. You're just making an argument, so let's go sort it out. Uh, went into the police station, asked for help. Everyone just looked at me. They grabbed me from behind and pushed me outside. I refused to go outside because I felt safer with all the public in the line and whatnot yeah. and then they pushed me to the back to like a mini holding cell outside uh, they shoved me around there tried to get cuffs on me they eventually put cuffs on me more arguments more arguments more shoving and then um, finally got into my car took the keys out of my pocket opened my car he <coughs> then drove my car into the police station uh, premises and then he opened my car and started searching my car and then he found my seatbelt, and yeah, that was it. And then he opened the charge and what, what, what. Um, but basically, he just tried to search my car. I just told him there's no ways that's happening. He's got no lawful right to search my car. And yeah, that was pretty much it. And he didn't like that at all. He got very upset. He hasn't read the police circular. The yeah, arrest yeah. procedure. And, uh, no, he, he got very upset. And... Uh, yeah, they put me if in the you camps. refuse to let them search your car without a warrant, then they can't get angry because they're not supposed to search your car without a warrant. They this is the way it should to. be. Yeah. Check the thing is, okay, if there was a house break in, okay, mm. and someone said there's a house break in, a white polo just drove away, okay, and you are in the area, yes, they will stop you, mm. and that is fair. But when you ask him why, he will say, <coughs> listen, these guys say, this car just left. They didn't see who was driving, so we're checking all these cars now. Mm. It just happened. Mm. That's totally different. Yeah. Then you almost have no choice. And Communication. If they, if they then find it, I mean, that's then a separate matter. Mm. You know? Mm. So, it, that's, uh, I would say, about the only time, and then obviously a roadblock. Mm. Security checkpoint, sorry. Because yeah. there's a difference between a safety checkpoint and a security checkpoint. One is metro, and they yeah. inspect your car and license mm. and tires and stuff. And the other one is a security checkpoint. They're looking for stolen cars, weapons, K78, magistrate signed. Cigarettes, alcohol. Proper warrant for the day, for that spot. It's very... It's called a K78, isn't it's, it? Yeah it's, yeah, it's like organized. It's not like just spur of the moment, random. There's no such thing. Mm. Since apartheid ended, there's no random, nothing. No. It's all circumstantial or um, you need to have an idea of some form of a crime that's been committed and a community and say yeah this kind of person did this and that's yeah. different you know <clears throat> the comments are so conflicted yeah literally one after the other we have one saying fuck the police and then we work why have the next one saying yo but you can't afford to get hard uh, uh, with the pigs these days and, and we've been having this debate amongst ourselves as well like mm. bending the knee whatever but well, the problem is the cops are blatantly breaking the laws they're supposed to be upholding. They are blatantly <coughs> ignorant of the actual laws. They insist that they can search without a warrant when factually, actually, fucking they factually, can't. they can't. Yes. But you're still it's at the illegal. mercy of the yep. system. The wheel, Second as much as you say no, 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 yeah. the wheel still mm. turns. Yeah. Mm. You but know? One thing with interactions with them, uh, follow the script. Mm. Keep quiet. Ask the questions that you're allowed to ask. Why did you pull me over? Mm. Where are you going? Ah, I'm not discussing my day. All that stuff from Pod Brothers, it works. 
We get people works. to print out all the relative documents mm -hmm. to, to, that's got to do with cannabis arrest and show it to the police yeah. post arrest situation. Yeah. And the police always tell them they follow the law, they're not going to look at these papers, which is actually the law. Yeah. So they will lie to any extent. Yeah, it's all about bribes. Because this if it is comes to a point where they threaten to shoot you, then just cooperate fully under duress. Make sure that you say it. That means that you are doing what he says, but you mm -hmm. don't agree with anything he's doing. That's, mm. that's the best you can do. Because mm. same as what those Park brothers say, is shut the fuck up. Give your lawyer everything. Yeah. Because, I mean, when they first got into my car, and I haven't even had a charge sheet, I was like, oh, these guys are just screwing themselves. Yeah. This case has no basis. And it was proved in the court. I wasn't even in the court. The prosecutor just looked at the thing. My lawyer asked him, do you see what I see? The prosecutor said, I see what you see out. The courts are not the danger. The police are the danger. The are the danger. Your arrest the situation is the worst. You want Don't worry about going to jail. It doesn't yeah. happen. The, you won't. The, the magistrates and prosecutors all throw the cases out. It's just the police that are the, the, yeah. the, they are the only threat with yeah. cannabis mm. at the moment. And they're cocky. Because I, I was resisting arrest before being arrested. You are not getting arrested for cannabis. You are being... Uh, that's what I was resisting. Uh, used in a corrupt situation. Yeah. <clears throat> being kidnapped. That's exactly in the it. public. I mean, <laughs> but what they do anyway office, these days is they'll assault you and then charge you for it and yeah. say that you were yeah. resisting arrest. No, that's the thing. Just don't fall down so they can kick you. Yeah. Just stand strong mm. and don't swing. Just, you know, just shove them back. Just give a shoulder, give a hip, little judo moves and just don't fall and make, allow them to hurt you. Micro conflict. Eh? Yeah, just mm. work with it, you know. Just <laughs> let him rather punch you first. Mm. Take it. So, Jobo420 guy asks, uh, so was there a charge? And if so, what for? Because you're saying there was no charge in the end or what? No, the, after he found the stuff in my car, um, uh, the charges were resisting arrest, COVID-19 regulations, because I wasn't wearing my mask in my car alone, and uh, Dacha. Yeah. And How, much just, Dacha? How, How much Dacha? How much Dacha? 0.08 grams. 0.08 or 0.8? 0.08 on the official charge sheet. 0.08 That's a grams. tenth of a gram. You can't yeah. even fucking roll a small joint with that. And this took the police how long? Two days. You were no, well, the whole The whole situation was like maybe an hour and a half before I got charged with anything. So a lot of screaming and shouting and... It was cut, though. And I mean, that's yeah, stupid. We're not you, wearing you know. a mask in your car by My yourself. Mate, I mean, funny. how many of you... keep throwing the script out. Mm. And the script is everywhere. You can see people online talking to cops and how to handle the cops. And, man, as, as, as stupid you think it is, that the language works. Mm. The language works because they heard it in college. Mm -hmm. They might not remember it fully, but they know you're putting out stuff that... Mm. Either you're making it up or it's close, you know. So yeah. they, they're also taking a chance. Yeah, they do. A friend of mine also got taken, like, the same situation. He got, there was literally a joint in his top pocket. We were out at a, we were out having a few drinks. Cops patrolling in the car park literally picked him up and said, you yeah. search, found the joint, and he didn't know anything about it. What, he didn't know anything about how to just, you know, protect himself. Mm. Literally ended up going to do necro courses, necro course, whatever oh, the necro, He had yeah. to go do them for weeks. If yeah. you are a stoner, you, still end up you, with like, Dude, you must know your rights. If exactly. you don't know your mm. rights, you are lost. The police yeah. will lie to you from the get-go, right from the beginning. Do not trust them at you. all in any situation with cannabis. Any situation. Know your yeah. rights. If you know your rights, you are in control of the situation. Don't pay bribes. Another thing we've just, just done, and I've only released it to the Green Network so far, we'll get it on to the rest of the social media ASAP um, it's already on the Fields of Green TikTok which is Fields of Green for all for 20 um, we've got a one minute clip the exact section where the judge says where we can possess cannabis and oh. why we can possess cannabis in places that are not just our oh, home because it extends um, from the you can of your home save from our TikTok home. account you can actually download the video so you download yeah. it on your phone save it as a favorite yeah. and then you know if the cop says ah but you're not allowed to blame him you can listen from record the judge's back and mouth awesome. himself mm. yeah. if you have the means record the cops record mm. the conversation dash cam dash cam they dash will, cam they will bait you and say yeah you can record it's right just keep recording get as much as possible get him in his uniform with his dereliction of straight duty, mm. and that is unfortunately all you have. Mm. Because they don't hurt you too much, mm -hmm. you will have your day in court, which is your right. Mm. Thank mm -hmm. God for the Constitution. And when that happens, any magistrate with sense 
we'll hear your truth, see your truth, and just throw the thing out. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have to deal with the fact that there might know. be they physical know. harm. There they might know. be, and that's what we're mostly exactly. scared of. That is the one thing that I think most people are scared of, is yeah. the physical, physical harm that comes from what cops do. And they will threaten you. And they'll threaten you, and they'll make they you think you have physical guns, harm. They will pull out guns, they will And guns. unfortunately, we just have to stand strong, and you just have to really believe that... Because you, you know, know you are doing nothing exactly. wrong. Exactly. Then, a, Dude, there can be a hundred guys there. Mm. I will laugh at all of them. If you're doing nothing wrong, it'll be a joke, bro. Stay yeah. polite, so know your rights. That's it. There Take a go. deep breath, ground yourself. And, and make then sure you get arrested. You must get yeah. arrested. In an See arrest the situation, form. get the paperwork behind you because the cops love messing you around and mm. not even putting an arrest through because the judge will throw it out. Remember the judge usually yeah. would throw these cases out. Because they don't even want to hear about it. Let's talk a little bit about what Charles said here. They will mess you around. So, <coughs> this dude gets mung on Tuesday afternoon-ish. So, uh, Wednesday morning, I figure out that he's probably at the station or whatever. So I go to the station where, he's, where we got mung. I get there, cause, and it's still early, eh? early, because I rate the dude would probably like something to eat, a warm jacket and a cup of coffee, blank a cup of coffee. I'm not going to put any guys in my wall, though. <laughs> I'll do that for the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, I get there, and the Oaks tune, no, is at the other pausey, like 20 minutes away. That's where the holding cells are. So now the coffee's getting cold, but I hit the road. I'm like, shh, shh, shh. I get there. I get to the place, and the cops are nice enough, and we do the sanitizer thing and all, but they say, no, ah, oh, just missed Rian. He's there at the other place. Uh, he's there at the other place, and he's on his way to court. So then I'm like, what? And I'm like, okay, so that's obviously what goes on. The attorney now goes there. But then for a day, he goes missing. Mm. Mm. He's not at the courts. The cop shop I've just been at says he's not there. He's at the courts. The cop shop I was before says that he's at the cop shop I'm at now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, classic. what now? Mm. What now? There. Yeah. There where you were. Yeah, in the end, it, in the end, but it was a day of me then going to make sure the coast's clear, you know, because you oaks, you must know your kind of drill when things like this go down. You must have like a buddy and a support system yeah. because you've got to think bigger than this moment now. There's bigger picture effects sometimes mm. with these situations, you know. Dogs have got to be fed. Life's got to go on as well, you know. And then a good friend as well then starts hitting between the two cop shops, hitting the two cop shops, hitting the two cop shops. Yeah. The one cop shop eventually says, yeah, no, he's yeah, but visiting hours are three They love four. splitting the cases over more than one police station so that they can mess you around more easily. Yeah. yeah. So they say, no, come back three to four. The dude comes back three to four. They say, no, sorry. And they say, no, we're not going to take the food or the anything or the oh, jacket nothing. that you bought for the oak. You can humba us, yes. Eh? And we're like, what? And this morning, remember, this is now night two. Yeah, two nights. Two nights now, hey? This is a fucking weekend Airbnb special now. That's how long this is, Oaks. For 0 .08 Not with foot grams. rubs and DSTV, ne? In 2020 during COVID mm. pandemic. Winter. Sorry, winter in the mung, hey? Winter in the mung, ne? Mm. That was cold. This morning kicks so off. Cold. This morning kicks off, still missing. The court says not on the roll. Mm. The police say not yet. But then it turned out that, where were you, dude? I was on the roll. I was in the courts. Yeah. Um, my lawyer eventually did scream at me in the holding area just to see because they didn't allow him to check the register. So, so even your just, attorney couldn't yeah, see Yeah, they were uh, he had to him. just Because he knows the guy's there. So he asked his friend, listen, can I just stick my head through this window here and just call his name? And I was there in the, still being booked in. So as soon as he just called my name and then I knew it was him. I was like, no, I'm here, clocked in, thumbprint again, fucking buy some cigarettes off the one policeman, <laughs> lack of time, waiting. I wasn't even in court. My lawyer fetched me in the hallway, and he said, here's your paperwork, let's go. The rest don't really end up in court much nowadays. If they do, they get thrown yeah. out. And these days, the next step is sue for unlawful arrest. I believe the amount is some, somewhere around 3,000 rand per hour that you've been inconvenienced can. by being kidnapped. You can, yes. That yeah. is one case that the lady did get 3,000 rand an hour. They kept her for almost three, uh, 100 hours. Yeah, somebody the other day got a 40,000 rand claim against the police. 40,000 rand. So if they assault you, they add on out. to it because legal then you go advice, to the doctor and legal you Legal advice is there. There are people willing to help you, especially if it's a good case. 
Yeah. Uh, luckily, uh, my lawyer also told me this is a good case and we have to take it further. And if you pay attention in the situation, know your rights, pay yeah. attention, then you can actually See, benefit in the end. Is, Even the state prosecutor the said you have an airtight case. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you follow the rules and you know the script, keep your mouth shut, mm. don't tell them nothing, you don't mm. have to, mm. don't have to. The right to silence. They can't help you. This is the first thing. They all say, oh, we'll help you. They can't help you. Once you've been charged, anything you say can and will be used against you. So you say nothing. You are the only person Until who can help you. Until your time in court, you say your side of the case, that magistrate will decide, okay, you are getting bailed and then come back or cheers. Mm -hmm. This is nonsense. And then after that, you can decide, hey, I'm not going to go after the police and, you know, try and get a remedy out of it. Because I have done it before and laid a complaint formally took me two days and it was beautiful they treated me like a member of the public they were all in their uniforms as servants should be I was sitting there with the HR and the HR had to explain to the one stop captain that there is no random stop and searches you cannot profile people so then I was like that's all I want and that was it unfortunately that it ended light for everyone Let me but just it, was, it was nice to see when you go to a complaint and you're not trying to be funny. You're just saying, listen, man, this dude didn't treat me right. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. He's treating strangers like this. Back People he works for. Mm. This is not right. And they, they take it too hard. This is, this is the thing. Real people stuck behind the mm. desk. they actually real servants. And I've met a couple of them. They're around. Mm. But they're not the guy stopping them. Yeah, this is the problem. Yeah, they get into those positions that, where they can remain placid, and they keep them away because mm. they know the chaos is in front. Mm. You put the wild boys in the chaos, you keep the good guys in the back. Just make sure the paperwork run. We do our numbers, but unfortunately, they have to learn. Eh? So, guys, so, all the information on the screen is on the Fields of Green for All .org .za website. Uh, under the legal section, there's a page called "Stop the Cops, Join the Queue," and that's where you can read all these questions you see on the screen and all the information and please remember that another way of teaching the cops is by suing for unlawful arrest since November last year the arresting officers themselves will be held personally liable for paying out that um, lawsuit so that's how they're gonna learn by paying it out of their own pockets sure well, that and uh, there was a, a sergeant colonel I think <coughs> Highly ranked officer, and he was—he has been demoted for being a bad boy, and he was looking after us in the cells. And he was a—I can tell you—he was a good guy. Mm. But there he is, looking after stupid things in holding cells, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, there's a yeah. It's there's repercussions. Well, the, if the happens. police don't pay attention, that circular is important because it'll hold up in court. And the thing is, if, if more people follow the script and the police confront more people saying and repeating the same things, it will trickle effect down. I'm telling you, yeah, it will. Because right. now that cop that confronted me, when he confronts someone else and they say the same thing, he's going to think twice now. Unfortunately for everyone, he's going to think different. Yeah. And then the third time, he's going to think different again. Yeah. So hopefully he can uh, learn how to treat people and... The hashtag is who works for who. Yeah. That's who works well, for who? Get your who pamphlet, know who? your rights, go read it. Mm, get practice your, it. Get practice it. Mm. Watch videos that's on YouTube. The, you know, that's the one See thing. See how is other when, people interact. When learn. The thing is, if, you you're, if your go cannabis that you carry with you, if your cannabis is in a personal space, if it's not visible and you can't smell yeah. it, yeah. then the police have no yeah. business to find it on your person or in your car and, and cause an arrest situation. You should just be left alone. Mm. The cannabis is not a reason for an arrest. The police need to understand this and stop arresting people there's no point to it it goes nowhere they need to break it's completely their old unnecessary yeah. it's only ever there for corruption whenever the police try and arrest you for cannabis you must know that they it's unlawful and they're trying to get a bribe that's mm. the only th Never reason say a bribe. it is the only You're paying reason. them already I, I mean, if they find you with enough, like those kilos that they found going to the shop in Springbok, I suppose kilos. they've got, maybe they can say, okay, that's a little bit too much. No, sure, but that's a different conversation. That's, you yeah. Know? That's a different conversation, and unfortunately, when you're doing gray things, you must be prepared to gray, to talk out of those gray areas, and yeah. still make sense out of it. There we go. We're talking about simple human rights. Right, yeah. right, yeah. You're sitting in a situation, right. and you are out of your depth, mm. with stacks of uh, evidence against you, 
I mean, that's a different story. Um, yeah. Uh, any lawyer will tell you that as well. Um, mm. But yeah, to have a lawyer on speed dial. It helps. And have and your friends um, understand a plan in case something goes wrong. Like more than one person in case two if you happen to get busted yeah. together. Especially for <laughs> animals and stuff like that. Just think about it. You know, animals, yeah. kids. Yeah. It's yeah. The, We all have yeah. lives that we need to get to. Yeah. So... It's for that and liaising with a lawyer or liaising with Fields of Green. Um, also, please download a copy Stay of ready. Judgment. Download a copy of the latest police yeah, directive. Yeah. From if you're going to go 19. around with cannabis, print these documents and keep, keep them ready. The They're all on the Join the Queue page there on, on Stop yeah, the Cops on Fields of Green. Yeah. 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 Make sure it licensed, the bits you know? that Don't make have other stuff that they can force a reason yeah, to yeah. hold you there or force a conversation or whatever. Yeah, like a if you give them anything, they will. They they know how. Yeah. They will solicit it out of you with one word. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you have your weed, car. then keep those documents in the house. Just keep them there <coughs> so you can yeah. know your rights and and, and read them, play. understand. Get them. the docs out and show it to the arresting officer. Yeah. Read the documents and understand them. Don't just yeah. print them and have them there. Read them and understand them. It helps. It's for your own good. Yeah. And also, charges mean nothing. Anyone can go to the police station and make a claim. That's what they're there for. Mm. That means nothing. Mm. So, that's a, you know, a lot of people get scared and they're like, oh, fuck, the world is ending. No. Dude, if you did nothing wrong, it will not end. doesn't matter what. If he's screaming, shouting, spitting on you, he's wrong. That's it. You just know that he is wrong. And yeah. you'll come up the other and side. You will. Because, yeah. yeah. like I said, that from that moment where he decides to fill in that paperwork, He's actually screwed. Yeah. Because mm. then it's you and the magistrate. He's mm. not even there in court, man. I told him, yeah, I'll see you in court. He's like, ah, I don't even go there. I was like, okay, for now. For now. <laughs> for, now. <laughs> for now. Not for this round. Yeah, for now. <laughs> sure. So, sure. Well, so it was a nerve wracking week for like all of us because I'm glad you're out, Rick. Yeah, all no, of us I'm had high good. anxiety and happy I'm out. Thanks, while guys. we couldn't find you. Yeah. High anxiety. Yeah, yo, guys, another day, another drama. Eh? Mm -hmm. Sure. On a lighter note, uh, uh, on our topic earlier about that whole uh, C-word research thing, mm -hmm. uh, Russ, and yellow tunes, yo, he does research every day, does it on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, uh, someone tunes who stepped on the dog, the dog stepped on itself. Yeah. It's still stepping on itself outside. This dog is in charge. Yeah. It tells yeah. us. It's chunking to get in and chunking to get out. It's the old lady and in she's in, in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Delta 9 tunes he translated the dog that's woof or fuck the cops yeah, she's still <laughs> tuning it at the door there yes it is there was a good question on the Facebook chat though since we're in this whole stop the cops <coughs> cannabis can help SA mm. fields a green mode someone's asking there uh, what about the ruling because like they said after that Concord ruling nearly two years ago that there will be two years mm -hmm. and government must figure it out. They mm -hmm. said, as it stands, it's kind of like decriminalized. Your right to privacy supersedes these arbitrary drug rules and things must be re rewritten, etc. But we're coming up on that two years 18th, in the next September couple 18th. of months. September yeah. 18th is the day. Yeah. Okay, so what they're going to do is they're probably going to bring out another unconstitutional bill mm -hmm. and it will probably be written by some prosecutor that knows nothing about cannabis yeah. so there you go we'll just take the government straight back to court well uh, the lawyers are already the trial of the plant will yes, continue it will continue it will we'll the person know. who's been put in charge of the bill is the person who was um, um the state's lawyer in the dennis case and and the state lost yeah. So the, the prosecutor that lost has to write the new cannabis law. Nice. It's a joke. It's an absolute Can't wait. farce. Should be a good read, you know? Yeah, <laughs> read it there on the shutter. Well, we are definitely not ones to give up on anything like this, Ooh. so we all will fight this no. until we get it. So We're not stopping until we've got what, what we Keep want. And that is. Space, really. She must read up on our website before she even proceeds. Yeah, yeah. Until I, I hear they the still do plant counting. We plant counting. There we go. If, there until we go. that sergeant major can sit there. Yes. Say, come and sit on the show come sit and here. talk to he us. He doesn't have to partake, but he can sit there and keep an easy face and be a person. We in won't uniform. accept plant counting. No plant counting, that is please. No plant counting. No, well, they'll throw whatever at all. I mean, yeah, cool. They'll throw it back in their faces. They're going to try. They're going to try and do something, but we don't have to take it, luckily. No. We have another option. Well, the bull won't pass. Option. Well, the bill might pass, it might not pass, I don't care. As long as it passes to the left-hand side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It won't make a difference because the, the black market will remain if it's an unfair bill. Well, that's it. We've, they I need mean, to uplift the black market and make them part of the 
the, the future cannabis Even so economy in South Africa, otherwise it won't work. That is the yeah, only way. Because yeah. it's not as if we have to legalize and they expect, oh, open the gates. No, mm -hmm. but it's just like, you know, just give us a space there. Yeah. We'll, we'll work with it. I mean, they, it seems like they are trying to, but they're going very slow. With this whole research and the law, this mm -hmm. the, the, these licenses and it's, it's that is the whole problem. So they need to stop long. making it too complicated. The government doesn't have a single <coughs> plant in the ground. It is this, <coughs> oh, it's, it, and there's people that are so capable. You get like I said again, we said it earlier. People can get the shit cruising. And we have no money, <coughs> and they don't want to allow us to make money. We've got this gold that uh, they need to unleash. But it. yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. And I don't like to talk, talk politics. I'm not going to say ANC, DA. I'm just going to say these politicians and all these investors and that. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are stalking this tiger, trying to catch it by the fucking tail the whole time. Let's chuck 15 bar at this research that's going to go nowhere and buy a couple of couche shares than that. Yeah. Hey? Let's chuck a couple of bar at this. Let's be real. Canopy growth fucked off, oaks. Yeah. If those oaks can't break fucking ground, yeah, it's <sighs> tough. No, they didn't want it, dude. That's why they fucked off. They, they got served a bad deal, mm -hmm. and they were like, no, we can't take this deal. Because so the, it started from the beginning with the rot. From the start, there was rot. Immediately, there was corruption. Yeah. Immediately, from the fucking start, there was yeah. rot in it. And they were like, listen, we can't do business enough. with you people like this. They're like, trying to sell it. Licenses are rot. Empty farm. No one employed. But just guys whatever it was, it was, it was a lie from the beginning. There's no yeah. follow through. Yeah, yeah. There's no fucking structure. There's no well, they tried, I think. bullshit. I think they tried, but there was... When that <sighs> when that thing came out on the news, there was nothing in that greenhouse. Yeah. We had shots from that greenhouse. There was nothing. Panola the unicorns. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. There we go. Come and go. So yeah. Come and it's, go. Really. It's it's yeah. They're not around now. I don't hear you know. How do you how do you prove to them that we can do it? Do you just go ahead and grow the most ridiculous amount of cannabis better <coughs> than they've ever seen? And when they come to inspect it, they'll be like. What the fuck? How yeah. much are you actually making? And then maybe one day one of them will click and be like, Well, this is the Yes, first we could actually use this. Do you actually have And if the more, more people do it in the country, and I'm just saying, just you know, hypothetically, okay. if everyone just fucking grew. I haven't and they could see that Jesus, we're burning all this fucking ganja, these people are growing. Look how good it's being done. Why don't we use this for our advantage? Why don't we they still won't they, they still don't hope. see it? No, we can only hope. Mm. Yeah. Hope. It's like they need it's like they need a minister of ganja. Like a minister of Ganja can go in there and who speaks the lingo, but also can put on a collar and speak to government because yeah, it's it like Tito. the Department of Gangapreneurship. Yeah, it's I like it was Tito, man. Uh, hey, we, I know. Oaks are saying Tito. Oaks are saying Tito. So guys, no, cannabis ombudsman. Mm. Mm. Yeah, ombudsman, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys. Either way, it's anyway. interesting times. Uh, but what's really scary deep down inside is that the busts continue. Yeah, I could still get mung before a joint. Yeah, yeah. That you doesn't will. that doesn't sound like it complies with. We know that doesn't comply with what went down. Yeah, but the we reality, were there, man. We were there, man. We were there. We were there. Court with thirteen we were there. judges, <laughs> unanimous, we were there. unanimously. Thirteen of the all of most were in that people room. in the country. Those people, you can't mess with them. They are on another level. Mm. And they all decided yes. Yes. That is not right. Go download the video. We're going to put it onto the rest of the social media, yeah. but from TikTok in the meantime, go download the video because it's handy Amazing. to have on your phone. It's a minute. Mm. A cop can spare a minute to listen to it come out of the judge's mouth no, in no uncertain terms. So uh, recently yeah. during a Schindler's Cannabis uh, webinar, I asked uh, the attorneys, uh, Paul Michael, um, when the police will stop arresting people for cannabis because it's so pointless. Mm. And he said, um, not until they fully legalize cannabis. Yeah. Full spectrum legalization, yeah. all four of the platforms for cannabis. Yeah. There's four platforms. If they don't legalize all four, it is not going to work. Mm. For those of you who don't know we'll what the four there. platforms are, On industrial, website. medical, we'll there, we'll traditional use, and responsible adult use. Yeah, but yeah I'm not stopping. This is, no. this is not going to be the end of it. And, uh, and you I have an army today, behind you. Today when I went, because I led, as I came out of court, I went to the same cop station where they harassed me. And I walked in there, and it was all chill. Uh, my friend was with me. And Did you sanitize your hands? Yeah, yeah, no, they put, took me through the thing and logged in. I made sure I logged in, wrote my same name mm -hmm. <laughs> on the book, so they on could the see me again there. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to some of the same people who were there, and they didn't look that way. And today they were in a different tone. And I laid my affidavit. Nowadays they don't even take your affidavit, just so you know. You walk away with it, and they just say, yes, I've seen it. And I believe this guy, and that's it. You know, it's an open jury. 
you you stand by it so that's it and that cop he was in your presence you know so that counts for something yeah and but again even if it's a complaint nothing happens you can't even go to the station itself and complain to the boss you have to go to their boss and complain yeah so that's the next step and once we've done that we'll yeah i don't know so you're gonna put them on hello peter <coughs> basically i think let's do basically. that no basically we do that's that? what's gonna happen <coughs> I'm not, I don't think they reply. <laughs> <laughs> not so bad. Because I already met one of the um, internal investigators from the traffic department. Because I had some issues with them also trying to um, suppress my rights. And um, <coughs> stood up there and I tried to make a formal complaint. And he said, the problem is, is I don't know the person's name, rank, or what car he was traveling in. And that makes it very difficult. Because then they have to go to logs to see who did what, when, and all this. Mm. Just get at least the person's name who's serving you, or trying to solicit you for whatever reason, mm. and what car he's traveling in. If you can get that, or station he's from, best bet. Mm. Then you have something. And then you can narrow it down. Because I promise you, when you come in there, as a free man, and you walk into those doors and you say, please service me, they have to. Mm. They have to. Otherwise, you can stand there... And send them all to jail. Basically. Dash cab, dash cab, dash cab. They don't help you. Cam. They are in straight dereliction of duty. And that is basically treason. Against mm. the people of this country. Mm. <laughs> Which happens anyway. We must but know I just rights. Mean, you mm. must know them. But this is, yeah, human rights, man. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you did the state of prosecution, you have to learn it. Because the paperwork you're serving, you kind of have to make sense of it first. Because this is your... You have to understand <laughs> your process. This is your, like, you know... Yeah. Your truth yeah. that you're putting out there because the court there you know a magistrate is different but a, a judge the truth you put in front of a judge is very important mm. and that unfortunately it can very easily be held against you uh, the first time i went for my stay the judge had an issue with the paperwork and we were speaking for ourselves and mm. we, we got into an argument but even in an argument he knew his position and he easily de-escalated and just said, listen, the paperwork is wrong. Please come back. You know, very simple. Because they're you obliged to, to assist you. Or a table and you say, here's my paperwork. No, it's not right. Okay. Mm -hmm. We come back. That's, that's the way it works. It's a lot of paperwork if, for If you're representing yourself, the courts are actually obliged to assist you. They have to you. help you. And if there has to be a legal It's very complex paperwork. You, and they always try and talk you out of it. You are better off some, most of the time, especially... If you know you did nothing wrong, mm. to speak for yourself. Mm. They cannot yeah, hold you that have to man up you. for the situation. And you speak well. Well, and just learn some things. Calm. And there is paperwork. Follow it. Read it. Understand how they argue. And know that if he doesn't have any proof that you committed a crime, or any suspicion that you committed a crime, and he can't reiterate it to you in a sensible way, He's got no business with you. Mm. You have no reason to speak to him. He's trying to solicit you. Mm. And that he can't do. Because mm. they are servants to the public and they react. And they get called for service. They cannot just be on the corner and spot check. It, it, it doesn't work that way. Oh, but Not they anymore. do. They fuck. They do. But it doesn't work that way. Apartheid is done. Apartheid is done. Yeah. Guys, dash cam, dash cam, dash cam. But Seriously, again, we had Maricana after, take after apartheid. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing. This is the problem with the police. And when mm. they get orders to do things, and they all, no one says nothing. Yeah. You know? This is the problem, is when no one says nothing. Yo, That's exactly It was scary right. when they assaulted me, and I was standing in that police station, and no one did anything. Not a member of the public. There were some people outside who freaked out. But inside. Everyone was just like this. I heard that crazy. there were members of the public that saw it, that went and yes. did a post about it on social media. They've got a witness. They were got a witness. They've got so videos, they've photos. There was no cameras there in the station. So effectively, mm. the problem is, is they got me in my neighborhood and I grew up there. I'm a member of the public. And this, <laughs> this is not the end. Mm. No. no. Not, not the end. Not even okay. close. Because they approached me. You don't approach me unless you've got something. Because now I'm coming for you. Mm. Exactly. Because that's nonsense. You yeah. don't just go up to strangers and say, hey, you. 
Yeah, I'm gonna make holes in you. Who does that? No. Huh? It's like some sick power game that? that they play. It's, it's a stranger. No. It's, it's my mom would slap me. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would slap me. I'm really? sure his mom would slap him as well. Yeah, probably. Well, she did when I did it when I was little. Mm. She slapped yeah. the shit out of me. Yeah. And then you left. Yeah, guys. Then, but this teaches you that, like, one, be prepared, and two, be prepared for it to also potentially be a fuck up. Mm. Yeah. Because, you know, be it's still the yeah. Wild West out there. And also, I uh, see someone's asking, uh, where did this happen? We're not going to say where it happened because this also still needs to play out. I don't think the story's finished yet. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But Gauteng. once again, yeah, Gauteng, <coughs> like this dude was saying, there are a lot of good people there too. So I think if we would, be do we would actually be doing a lot of good people and injustice by saying it was X, Y, or Z. Because mm. yeah. mm -hmm. we're not yet to, to no, cause so Just Always quiet. stay polite when you deal yeah. with the police. Always don't call be them names. Instead Good of losing don't your temper, focus on remembering yes. details, yeah, yes. names. Bite script. your tongue, have a deep breath, and stay Put your right. anger into the script. Say nothing. You can freak out later when yeah, you're in home. Let them say everything. Yeah. Yeah. Let them say it's everything. It's worth it to just mm. yeah, cool be yourself present. down. Be present. Be really, really present in the situation. And learn the script. Aware. We're going to get a script. We'll put it out. People can learn it. Get a script. Make a, a script. script. My lawyer's helping me to If we can script. put a script out to everybody that remembers the same script over and over and then script. drum it into every police station and every cop is like, what? Just you know what? Thing. We'll same make thing. videos of the script. Yes. Yes. We'll make... Uh, and we'll eventually make people will start filming the themselves, like on the Pot Brothers, mm -hmm. saying the script mm -hmm. and seeing the reaction of the policeman already heard that script and it counted against them. There you go. Oh. That is the repeat that we That's want. The one. That is what we want and we blare that on the internet. That is it. Because that is the revolution that will be televised. Yeah. Is how you call it. the servant for what he is. And that's not a... I respect that um, uniform. Yeah. I would never punch someone in that uniform. I'd never respect ever. them more if they did their actual job. Never ever. Schools closed for four weeks. You know? Sorry, just to let yeah. you know. Okay. Okay. School's closed. closed for a month. For a month. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Well, there you go. Yeah. April holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so, does that mean we are officially high... School. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been very educational so far tonight. Yeah. But I also, uh, I think also, guys, you know, uh, be be uh, ready in that. But also, uh, don't be confrontational. Don't go put the Bob Marley on both twelves at max with bass plus six yeah, treble well, minus three, yeah. burning all the incense. Got the ganja thing. You don't have eyelashes on your headlights. You got dreadlocks. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> profiling is real. That profiling is, is real. Very profiling real. is real. That Which is sad, and I'm not time. victim blaming either. Yeah. I'm trying. I know it's such a fucked up thing. I'm just saying when the when the when the world is full of pigs. What we're saying is try not to wear a short skirt and please don't get drunk. There you go. <laughs> no, it's, uh, uh, profiling is real and it's real. That's <laughs> really it. And as soon as I stood up for my rights mm. he didn't like it like they all don't because they think they're God your it's only not. defense is knowing your they're rights not. it's your only defense it's the thing and if you keep repeating the same things because I've got video we'll share it somewhere mm. of me repeatedly asking them what am I being held for yes I'm in cuffs what do you want from me mm. you haven't said nothing you haven't presented me with any evidence there's nothing that you have in front of me saying, ah, you did this. Because you're so innocent. So why am I here? Yeah. I and drive why is here, no one else me helping put me? me in a cage? For a bribe. Why is no one helping me? Mm. Basically kidnapping. Mm. In it my is. police station. It is kidnapping. Yeah. Where you should go. It's my office help. that room. Yeah. Well, there's my counter, my uniform, my paperwork. I brought my own pen. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it all belongs to us. <laughs> Yes, everything yeah. we pay for everything that fucking broken tile yeah. the fact that there's no cameras there's no toilet Shouldn't there's no running the water they put you in a cage outside it's a fucking little storage room for old chairs that's fucked it's a joke Rue. but it's ours yeah. yeah you sit on your chair when you sit there yeah, yeah exactly it's not their chair no that uniform gets issued to them we the people decided that badge needs to be on that shirt those boots belong to us. Mm. All of that was issued to them. Mm. Every day it gets issued to them. The other internal investigator told me even their police cards now get issued on parade. 
It is disgusting. They don't go with it home because they use it. It is disgusting. They use it in cities. Well, at least our money. Make, yeah. We are treated like that. Yeah. Measures. Ruin. They cost us twelve billion rand last year in unlawful lawsuits. Exactly. Human Trust rights me. violations me, all man. the way. We'll get more evidence of that. Please start no, suing for unlawful cops, arrest, dude. man. When they start feeling it in their pockets, they're going to start stopping. Yeah. We've got the law on our side. Do it. They can't speak normal. You to shouldn't you be arrested at all. I don't want to speak to them. Mm. They can't approach me like a person. Exactly. And, and get to know me in that moment. Have a so conversation. I'm not scared of them. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not hurting people. Mm. Yeah. So if he wants to speak to me, he can speak to me like a person. Yeah. I'll have all day for him. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I respect that uniform. Because there's a reason why you dial that number mm -hmm. and they should come help you. Yeah. And Otherwise, I am not a criminal. You know, if you're doing nothing wrong, because this is the thing is, if you're not hurting someone, and someone cannot say that this person hurt me either in an economical way, physical way, or whatever, mental way, there is nothing against you. Mm -hmm. You are doing nothing wrong. No, you know? The sad reality is, you know, that's bra. You know, we all jumped to, we all asked ourselves, what would Jules do? Mm. So we all fucking, sh sh every angle, every angle. This other Okia Ose was there, we were, he was calling the, the copper rolls and all yeah, that yeah. cuck. All the Buddha, all the Buddha yeah, yeah. All the Buddha yeah. Yeah. Now they know us. <laughs> but yeah. now, but now think, eh? Dude, let's say you were on your Insta. Yeah. Or you were Oak, you were just a, a, a real South African dude. Who maybe doesn't have a phone. Yeah. Or an airtime. Yeah. Or support system who's on their ace, mm. or maybe maybe let's say you had some kids at home and you were on your ace. Bad news, bad news. Four point zero zero eight. Yeah. One dude tunes. Yeah, he's got more weed in his carpet than that. I tell you what, motherfuckers, I got more weed in my beard. Yeah. Than that. Mm. Is this shit for real? Two days for and that. Mm. It's uh, like yeah. the cells and stuff, it was only holding, holding cells, nothing too serious. I yeah, was scared they might, they might push me into like a central <laughs> lock somewhere or something, you know. Because mm. they do like to wash people just for two weeks and, you know, make you cry there in the corner and then they think it's all fucking funny. Yeah. And you're sitting there with the real criminals. They're you know, narcissists. And now you might get into a fight in the prison, protecting yourself, and then you're in trouble. Oh my God. While you're in holding and you be start making trouble. Oh my bro. Mm -hmm. uh, your lawyer's not going to like you. That's going to cost extra. Yeah, guys. So, guys. Extra work. So, stick to the script and just assert your right. Because mm. you have freedom. When that cop stops you, you and him are the same. Okay? Only when something he presents to you that says you did something wrong, the Criminal and Procedure Act comes into play, and then, my rude, they will unleash everything. And that's, you know, that is what it happens. Based on a phone call, random phone call, anyone can phone the cops and say, listen, my neighbor has 20 kilos of coke in his house. Mm. I saw it. Mm. And they will rock up, bro. Yeah. Full-fledged. And then nothing happens, someone and reports then you're in it, trouble. It's their duty you know? to investigate it. But usually when people split on someone, they know, ah, oh, the cops are going to arrive there, and they're going to be happy. So I'm good. I can even do it anonymous. But some out this and is they sad. have to go when a call for service is made. Yeah. This is the other problem. So, mm -hmm. yes, even if someone profiles you and say, listen, I saw this dude, he's shady, he was like digging in his pocket or whatever. His dreadlock was hanging out the door. That, <laughs> unfortunately, is still enough for them mm -hmm. to at least warrant a decent conversation and say, listen, bro, are you okay? Check you out, see if you're sweating, maybe on the fucking crystal, mm -hmm. you know? It's a, it's a procedural thing. It's yeah. a, it's a norm, normal thing. Be like, hey man, just come here. This lady was saying you were making trouble. Mm. What's going on here? That is that is helping the people. Mm. You know? A civilized police force would learn how to read body language. You've been to the UK, you know. When yeah. those guys stop you, you can talk for long with them. And it's very, very men that they actually, they, they if they have something, sure, it's over. Mm. But if they're just trying to suss something, you can have a conversation with them and they will actually just leave you alone. No, they will. Unless you say something. But they do their duty. They they are they just checking up and if you exactly. if you say, yeah. you're in the wrong, you're going to get caught. You're by the corner there, looking and looking and looking. Yeah, they're going to come and be like, "Hey, bro, are you? you know, what are if you you're doing something for? wrong. You're going to get caught. Speak the truth, and you won't have any fucking, you yeah. know." Like Jules always used to say. Unfortunately, suspicion is enough. Bro. Yeah, suspicion. If you always speak the truth, you don't have to remember what you said. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's it.
Yeah. Don't lie, because then you have no. to lie about the lie, and the lie then changes, and the lie gets longer, and then you screw yourself. So just no, speak the truth, and and the problem is, is when they lock you up, you have to give an address, and most of the time they check <coughs> out, and if it doesn't check out, you can ask some people. Yeah, they will keep you. They generally require to confirm your address. Oh yes, this is the thing, and that's even based on allegations. Yeah, they sicker you. And eh? this is the problem: is uh, it doesn't give them access to your home. But as long as if you're renting, someone can say, yes, that person does live here. They're just not here. I don't know what happened mm. or whatever because you're in holding, obviously. Mm. You know? So as long as there's someone saying, yes, he occupies this home, that's it. That's it. They just need to know where do you occupy, where can they find you. And that's... Which yeah, is, the court loves addresses. I mean, there's no procedures without Fortunately, ID no is ID, ID, address, name. Mm. Photo, even better. Mm. Fuck basics. Up. Hey, but the photo was like someone on the cell phone. <laughs> Left, right. right. Yeah, yeah. It's on the cell phone, we just put your WhatsApp. You think the cops have an app for it? Oh, not all. Uh, <laughs> and and you can like join the group. The and you check the photos coming through all the people your getting tagged. <laughs> it's, it's WhatsApp with the S at the end. WhatsApp PS. <laughs> What's S A P S? Yeah, these guys, eh? So, what Oaks tuning here? Yeah, he got mung 10 years ago. Says he got mung for a nip, he forgot in his pocket. Mm, and yeah. what happened is the cops had had him for two days, and by day two, his family didn't know where he was, and they went to the same police station that he was at to say, to report him missing. Can you imagine? Hey, dude, it's your kid. Mm. What's your dad? What's your bro? Two days, you're like, this isn't some fucking cat yeah. that's on a, and this isn't some oak on a schizo trip. No, he didn't just get lost. Yeah, the cops, it's yeah. like you're, and you've asked everyone around, and then you go and you like, you pick up, because you know, if you go to the cops, you might get the worst answer. Mm. You know, it might be the hardest answer. And you go to the cops, you pick up the courage, and they, they said they went, his family went to the cops, and the cops told him, told the family, no, yeah. no, we don't know anything. I mean, yes. while he's sitting right there in the fucking holding cells, yeah. and then a day or two later, he went to court, paid a 70 rand fine, which is a fuck up, because that's an admission of guilt, hashtag criminal record. Yeah, mm -hmm. 10 years. But he got out. But could you imagine for three days? Yeah. Three days, I would be driving mm, laps. Yeah. I'd be chugging I'd, monsters. I don't know what I would be doing. It's uh, just fucking boring. So I'm, you just gotta, like, find something and just, like, know that your day in court is coming. Mm -hmm. If they keep that from you, that is against them. That's even worse. Your lawyer's gonna love it. Yeah, the longer they keep so it, the worse it is for you them. You just gotta make sure they don't hurt you. You don't get fucking some sickness. Some dude doesn't try and fucking, you know, mug you there in the cells and your day in court, that's that's when you speak your truth, dude. Mm. And like I said, you don't need a lawyer. You don't. But it helps a lot. It does help. It does help. It does, <laughs> help. It does help. Especially yeah. in the moment because as soon as my lawyer stepped in and then the other lawyer came a bit later, but as soon as he stepped in, everyone was nice and calm, calm and the paperwork started. Mm. Before that, there was chaos and... Yeah, they, they don't stop bullying you until me. The they were threatening to beat me up. That guy said, if he finds me in the street, I would need an ambulance. The business. Yeah, guys, it's heavy shit out there. Should we get onto something lighter? I'm I, for one, am glad this oaks out. Yes. Yes. <laughs>